Hello friends and family. Yeah, this is Motorsport Progression and this video is about uh, Formula 1 testing in Barcelona day 1. So, looking at the time sheets, uh Lando Norris was fastest in the McLaren with I think Charles Leclerc in second and Carlos Sainz in third and so the two Ferraris behind the McLarens and then you had George Russell and then you have the the Red Bulls in the mix as well, about sixth or seventh. So the first day was right, and you can see in the picture above Red Bull spotting some fins on the side of the of the of the their car on the side pod in the afternoon, and they got that green. What's it got? That green uh, liquid, fluid liquid underneath the car as well, just to check the aerodynamics. So everyone's everyone just doing a lot of work, you know. I'm happy that Formula One is back back into testing and McLaren looked strong on the first day. Ferrari looked strong as well. And Red Bull and Mercedes did not look strong on the first day. So um that's something they got to take into consideration. And moving on to the second day, um I'm gonna check the results and bring it back to you. And yeah, hopefully Red Bull can pick up some pace, uh, Mercedes can pick up the pace, but I'm happy that Ferrari and McLaren are at the top. And if they can give the car to their drivers to challenge Mercedes and Ferrari, it's going to be a four-way battle for the title. So you got uh, Red Bull, Mercedes, Ferrari and McLaren. That's a good battle. And if Aston Martin can get involved as well, that's going to help. And Alpine with Alonso and, and Ocon as well, that's going to help. So... Overall, it was a good day of testing. Some Most of the teams got a few laps in. And those laps are going to help to collect data for them to move on to the the next session and understand the car, the tyres, you know, the the temperatures, the pressures on the car and these kind of things. So it's very important for the teams to collect the data.